Well, thank you for coming. I appreciate it. <laughs> um, we wanted to talk today about just creative partnerships, really uh, for banks in terms of growing their portfolio, helping their customers, doing more things, but also in charting, navigating these uncertain waters, maybe mitigating risk as well. So uh, having creative partnerships can help both ways, grow sales and mitigate risk. Um, Flexent is a wholly owned subsidiary of Chesapeake Bank. So Chesapeake Bank is a state chartered bank in Virginia, 123 years old. And uh, our Flexent division does receivables, financing, and small ticket asset-based lending. We partner with community banks across the country. Basically, we've been in business since 95, and we just plug in where they, there is a need, plus we also just direct market to different companies. So it's been a good fit for the bank, and um, we wanted to talk about how we can be creative how banks can be creative, not just in terms of receivables, financing, or asset-based lending, but all kinds of different opportunities to be smart rather than be reactive. So the main thing is you've got your customer base and they're talking to you and all of a sudden they come in and say, hey, we've landed this huge contract. We're going to double our sales, lend us lots of money. And most of the banks are like, I can't lend you any more money because your debt service coverage ratio is not right, your this, that, and the other is not right. Or conversely, in this market, you may find out they've lost their biggest customer. They've lost a big contract, and they're not going to meet your criteria for lending. What do you do? Uh, do you just, what is your opportunity for them? Or one of your long-term customers says, hey, we're tired of doing the business. We're going to sell. That's a big part of your portfolio. What are you supposed to do? How are you supposed to react to that? Or thirdly, you might have some really smart kid that in the community who starts this new company and says, I've got new customers, I'm doing everything right, and the bank gets his PFS, and he lives at home, he Ubers everywhere, and they're like, I can't help you. But he's got a company that's generating a fair amount of money, good receivables, things like that. These are all kind of opportunities that pop up for banks every day, and how you react to them can really help you, A, in your success, but B, in mitigating risk. So sometimes a lot of banks, they'll just sit around and say, well, we can't help you with that, but we can do this, that, and the other. And if your uncle co-signs over here, then we might be able to help you do something else. Or uh, you might say, well, you know, why don't you go online and, and look at uh, Cabbage or Funbox or somebody else who's going to be able to help you just get some initial cash, and then we'll come in on the backside and help you. Or you may have had someone who just popped uh, into your uh, bank in the last year or so and dropped off a card and said, hey, we help companies do this, this, and this. You haven't vetted them, you don't know who they are, but you're like, here's a card, call them, good luck. Those are not great options, but those are oftentimes the only options that banks work with when those situations pop up. And what really happens is nobody wins in that scenario. Uh, the clients can't get the funds they need, or they have to go through some incredible hoops, or it's very expensive. Or sometimes you just lose the opportunity because community businesses like to work with community banks and they'll stay with the community bank because you helped them when they were small, they stay with you uh, when they're large. And those are, those are actual things that occur a lot of times and, and lenders and, and credit folks just say, well, we weren't meant to get that piece of business. In the coming economic times, every piece of business, if you can manage it well, is a good piece of business. So, is there a win-win? And that's what we look for when we partner with banks is, is there a win for the customer, a win for the bank partner, and a win for us? And that's what we're looking for is that win, win, win. So what we recommend uh, that community banks specifically do is they partner up with alternative uh, lenders. There are a ton of alternative lending products out in the marketplace that you can use to supplement what you offer and then if you do offer them you know your partner you know what they do what they don't do you present a good solution you mitigate the risk and then you help the company get from point a to point b uh, just some of the ones that we uh, are familiar with that we know are receivables financing and asset-based lending those are things that we do most community banks do not uh, depending on the statistics you look at there's 10 to 15 community banks in the country that offer receivables financing. And all the banks that say they offer asset-based lending don't really offer asset-based lending, except for the large banks. And they only offer for companies that are doing five to $10 million requests or greater. Those are companies doing sales of 50 million and up. So what do you do with that? Or 
you've got a customer who's going to order a large group of product from um, China, and they've got to pay for it before it leaves port. And you're like, uh, I'm not putting any money in China. Purchase order financing is a great option. Uh, supply chain financing is a great option if you have a large customer who sells to others and they want to offer financing to them. Instead of just saying good luck, if you, you come across as a very good partner for your customer, if you can say, I've talked to these people, we have a relationship with them, I know them, I know their customers, uh, and they can help you. And then as soon as you don't need them anymore, we can bring you back in the bank. So it's a, it's a full relationship partnership that you want to have with these vendors who can help you and help your customers, A, mitigate risk, B, grow their business, and C, just become a very profitable company. And it's not just go out to lunch with them, but it's actually look at them, talk to them, look at their websites, get case studies, look at customers that they have, uh, talk to them, vet them out. And then what we talk about a lot is because we are a bank-owned partner, vendor management at banks is very critical. We pass all the vendor management check boxes immediately because we are a bank. Some of these non-bank entities do not check any boxes, and those are important to know because you don't want to partner up with someone who's not going to pass your vendor management standards. So that's important for us to, um, we think for community banks specifically, to go through the list and just say, what opportunities do we have in our marketplace? As a, for example, Robbie's in South Carolina. There's BMW and Volvo and all these companies. There's a need for purchase order financing. There's a need for inventory financing. And if your bank doesn't offer those, most don't, what do you do? You should have a good partner. So the benefits of the partnership are multiple. One is you're going to meet the needs of your customers, and the more you can meet the needs of your customers, the more loyal customer you have. You're going to retain that customer for a longer period of time. You're not going to lose them to the big bank down the street, and they won't be happy down there, and you won't be happy losing a customer. You can cut some of your risk. So we find a lot of community banks that say they do asset-based lending. They're really doing it off a spreadsheet in the top drawer until the Fed regulator catches them. And then, uh, so you've actually mitigated the risk and offloaded the risk to someone who's really good at that. And a lot of these partnerships uh, pay fee income. So you will earn income for your bank, non-interest income, just by helping your customer. And then when it's time, you can pull it back in. So there's a lot of benefits to this. Uh, we look at it as a win-win. We look at it as an opportunity to serve your customers, mitigate risk, increase fee income, and just be a more strong partner in the community because most community banks want to be a strong partner in the community. So I'm going to let Robbie just talk now about um, one of our case studies that we have with some of our clients in the receivables financing side. Thank you, Kevin. Um, I'm reminded recently of a transaction that we're able to do with a client bank in Raleigh-Durham. Uh, in this particular situation, we had a, a community business who wanted a relationship with a community banker. Um, it is a multi-state staffing company. Uh, the business owner approached his lender with a, uh, some real estate transactions that he wanted to have done, commercial real estate. Uh, the local banker was able to fulfill um, the need for the uh, commercial real estate loans. But in developing that relationship, uh, the banker also learned that this particular staffing company had a, a credit facility with a, a large national bank. The large national bank was dragging their feet upon renewal. They had some other uh, fees on there, unused line fees, renewal fees, and a host of other fees that uh, this particular customer was not very fond of. And so um, the community bank that we work with was able to provide or offer a $500,000 line of credit. Well, they asked us for a million five, and with all the exposure that we just talked about that Kevin mentioned, uh, the bank uh, had real estate and just was not uh, comfortable in going a million five when it comes to accounts receivable and the trading assets on the balance sheet. So in that regard, they, they uh, have a partnership with us and so they were able to call me in and we were able to come in and structure a accounts receivable finance and credit facility and asset based loan for this particular staffing company. We were able to uh, fund their $2 million request. Um, so the company has been growing with all their locations across the country. 
In addition to the relationship, I was asking the banker, do you have any deposit relationships with a particular customer? In this case, they did not because it was a new relationship. So we were also able to gain the deposits for our client bank. Uh, not only uh, are they uh, receiving the deposits now, but they're also earning uh, non-interest fee income from us as well. And so that's just a recent transaction of how when Kevin mentioned a win-win-win, it was a win for the banker, it was a win for the customer, it was also a win for Flexit. So they've been with us a couple of years now and we've continued to increase the line size for them and they've just had spectacular growth. Some of the companies that we work with, we talk about the good, the okay, and the ugly. This particular company had uh, great ratios and good ratios and they were able to fit our pricing model, our credit model. We also work with some of those companies in the market that we'll call them the okay financials to where they may have a covenant that they're edging up against and sometimes because of uh, credit and, uh, and uh, upon renewals and so forth and kicking the tires, sometimes a particular lender may say, well, you know, we're not able to renew this particular credit at this time because, you know, of a debt service coverage ratio. And I work with a lot of lenders in that regard to where the company is still profitable, they're still cash flowing, and then we're able to salvage some of those relationships with the idea that when the company is able to increase those debt service coverages that they walk back into a bank on that traditional facility. Um, we do have some customers out there that are losing money, that have lost money for quite some time, and in those particular transactions, they, they're not going to be a fit for us, but they are a fit for some of the old line factoring companies of the world. So I just mentioned that to give a, uh, a thought about you know, some of the customers that you work with uh, in the bank, uh, and uh, so this is a product that, that's, uh, that is a good product for uh, various uh, companies out there that you're serving in the marketplace. So happy to have a conversation whenever the need arises. Any questions or anybody have any uh, thoughts or comments or anything? Mm -hmm.